Yes. And I posted the letter in my room. Anyone wants to read it later? I will read it later. Okay, so just imagine there is a tent there. Um, so yeah, he's ordered them to apprehend you guys, is what he said, or whatever. So Sasuke, you're up first, but let me put on some cat folk murder and music. So what exactly oh happened as she entered the tent? Like, just like, because I, I literally, I don't know if you guys, like, knew when when my computer crashed, but it crashed literally right as I moved behind the tent and she entered the tent, so I didn't hear anything else happen. So I entered the tent and he said, well, did you change your mind? And, you know, basically I said that, you know, my, that our... Our party is protective because there's been attempts in our life, and as long as they don't try anything that, you know, I felt safe enough entering the tent. And he seemed to object to the fact that, uh, that we had them surrounded, and he told me to get out. And, uh, Escanor, well, first of all, Saska opened the tent flap you know hearing this he opened the tent flap to uh allow me out and Escanor uh held out his hand and said you know my lady and <laughs> and my lady. Uh, yeah my lady <laughs> and uh tipped his fedora and uh no I'm just kidding all right but anyway so I I said thank you and I, I made some kind of like passive aggressive um response about you know it was something it was something derogatory towards the cat folk I can't even remember at the moment but uh, it triggered him so he's like he ordered the guards to apprehend all of them yeah he attacked when Escanor grabbed your hand and I looked through the, the tent, way, tent flap and I said you did this the wrong way all you had to do was ask permission and then you lost it Um, Although I think he, I think he pretty much lost it because Escanor uh, grabbed her, grabbed her hand. Sorry, you said you're confused about what? I'm I'm sorry, like just shit didn't make sense to me there. I'm confused about uh, why he was meaning like all you had to do was ask or he was meaning like if if Rianwe Su had given me a choice in the matter if he had uh, asked about it that perhaps the answer would have been different okay um so yeah just give me a round of perception check because I didn't really describe these guys in front of you Um, so if this description matters to you guys at a, like a lot, you can retcon a little bit if you want. But okay, I just want to uh, ask how long did the conversation take from the time I activated my spell? So I know how many minutes I have. Uh, how long does your spell last? Five minutes. Uh, this yeah, Five minutes is up. Okay, then my perception is three lower than that. Sorry, I'm just putting a symbol on this guy. Kind of Sorry, uh, Bella, what were you saying? Oh, nothing. I could do that. Okay, uh, I'm just going to describe these guys. So these are all uh, cat folk wearing um, some leather. Uh, what are they wearing? Plus five heavy plate. <laughs> no. Uh, they're actually not wearing, like, any, like, um, heavy armor or anything. They're just wearing, like, normal robes. Um, but you notice the ones I've marked with that little wrench, they are holding um, some strange-looking pistols. Um, the rest of them are, are wielding two... Um, I don't know if I how to pronounce this right. K-U-K-R-I-S? Kukris? Kukris? Kukri. Kukri. They're wielding two of them each. So they're dual wielding kukris, and the ones with the wrench things have pistols with many barrels on them. 
Did that change anything the way you wanted to approach this at all? Not me. Okay. Yeah, so that is the how they look. Um, you're up for Sasuke. So I'm just curious, are they like actively attacking us or what are they trying to do? So he is They're trying to them. apprehend us. Yeah, he, he didn't give the order to kill you. Um, so AKA, it's safe to assume they're going to be attacking you non-lethally. Okay. Okay. So I'm going to shout out, stop, stop. Don't force our hands. Okay. And if the guy in front of me doesn't immediately stop what he's doing, I'm going to attack. He looks like he's not uh, stopping. Okay. I'll give what's his face half a second to say something. Before Sasuke moves, I look over to him and say, try not to kill them. Okay, so I will uh, attack. I'll attack the one right in front of me and I will uh, literally punch him. Unarmed attack? Yes. So he'll take an attack of opportunity on you? Well, because if he attacks me lethally, then it's fucking going down. He's not attacking you lethally, but he will take an attack of opportunity if you're going to strike him unarmed. Okay. <laughs> like, he, he, he's... The, the reason I'm confused is he's holding a knife. Can you Two please knives. describe to me how you... Can you please describe to me how you attack someone with a knife and not do lethal damage? He'll go for non-vital arteries. He'll just cut you in non-vital places. Okay, uh, I'm letting you know that Sasuke is going to take that as an attack. Sure. Go ahead, I'll take the attack of opportunity. Um, does a 21 hit and a 16 crit confirm? Uh, a 21 hits, a uh, 16 does not crit confirm. So you'll take five damage. And I'm assuming I'll uh, have a second So he burst. literally cut me with his knife, is that correct? <laughs> yes, mechanically you can do any lethal, non-lethal damage with any weapon with a minus four to hit. So I don't know like realistically how that plays out. Like maybe he'll just like hit you with the end of the knife instead of cutting you, I don't know. But he's clearly non-lethally attacking you. Okay, then I will do the same, but with my fucking scythe. Okay. Well, wait, you, you changed your action. You were attacking with your fist. That's why you got an attack of opportunity. So you're attacking with your Fine. scythe now? I'll still, I'll still take the attack of opportunity. Okay. Are you hitting non-lethally? Or are you doing lethal? Nope. Nope what? <laughs> I am not attacking non-lethal. He hit, he cut me with his knife. So you are going lethal damage. Yep. Okay. You hit and cut him. Anything else? Hmm. Nope. This guy's gonna go, and he will try and attack Escanor. I'm assuming those both miss. Yep. I, I just... They are technically still inside the tent, or not? Um, this guy has stepped out of the tent here. These guys are in the tent, but, like, it's like an opening and closing flap. Like, they can push it open to attack you in the same turn, and you can as well. But there are okay. the rest of them are in the tent. Escanor, your turn. I will be talking to Rion directly, or at least attempt to talk to him through his tent there, and say, Rion, I highly suggest that you call off your guardsmen here. We do not wish to hurt them. If you want this combat to be between you and I, I'll be more than happy to. You're challenging me to one-on-one -on -one combat? Yes. As Shirazi the prize? 
No, she's not a trophy. Then what is the point in facing you? What do I stand to gain? I, I cut in and say, the lives of all your men. Your life? <coughs> Fine, I agree. One-on-one -on -one combat with the petty human. Call off your goons. He will give the order for them to stop attacking. I'll be waiting over here. Okay. Um, so these guys are not... Uh, they'll reposition to beside him for that moment. That was that guy's turn. This guy will go back into the tent. You can take a tax opportunity on him if you want. Do no, you... I heard all this. Okay. So he'll go here. Back here. What are the rules of one on one combat? Can I give him guide? <laughs> no. I mean, you can, but that's clearly not. What I, I really don't know what. It's literally I, just, just the same thing. We're just going to be me and him swinging at each other until one of us goes down. Pretty much. I don't know if there's actually any special rules, but if there are, I'm not going to use them or look them up at this specific I, I, I'm literally trying to take really just Shiraze's. Um, I, I guess I don't know. I was really just trying to avoid on killing. Sorry, I, I just don't... want to make sure um, Natalia's not swinging at this guy as he walks away from you. No, I want to, but <laughs> no. Okay. My assumption was that if she was going to go before me, she was going to sneak under the tent and hold a knife to his throat. Well, I was going to, like, cut open the fucking, yeah, do something and just, like, just stab right through the tent. This guy's gonna leave your threat and kind of go here like this. Shiraze, your turn. Oh, sorry, we're still in the Oh, uh, well, if no one's gonna take any, I just thought someone might surprise me and do something weird. But if you're all just gonna, like, agree to this, we can all just uh, get out of initiative and then we'll just let them roll initiative, those two. I mean, I'm agreeing to it for now. Okay, Dang. let me remove all the turns. And let's, they, so the, the idea was they were just going to form like a thing like this so that no one can like interfere with the fight kind of thing. But you guys can be, like they'll, they'll not want you like that close to him. Like we'll say like they kind of want like this Fine. situation. Can we be Get like, we can be like in, in Escanor's corner. Yeah. I'm up on the, I'm up on the log. <laughs> Hold on, I'm just positioning the way they would be positioned. The guys with the pistols are back there. The guys with the kukris are going to be just like kind of forming like a an area where your fight's going to take place, basically. Like that. Oh, there's two more. So the other one is like this. This way. The hurt guy's going to go on the back of it. Um, yeah. So he'll say, he'll draw both his blades and say, For honor then. And roll initiative. So I'm going to walk up to this guy and say, I got 50, 50 gold on Eskinor. He walk up and say to this guy? Yeah. He scowls at you. No? No? Okay, I'll go to this guy. <laughs> No, okay. I, if I see that he scowls, I say, go back. Okay, so he has. Before he it. comes in to attack me, I'll just look at him and I, in my most non judging face, and say, you know, Rion, you claim you love her, and yet you're, you're doing everything you can in this moment to show that you don't. Sasuke's gonna say, less talking, more ass kicking. <laughs> you know nothing of our people, and he will charge you with both his blades drawn. Do any of those hit? They're plus two on top of that, so 18 and 23. Just the second one. So you take 13 slashing damage. He 
Your turn. As he, as his sword, uh, one of the swords connect with you, you hear uh, all the cat folk are cheering. Cheering on, Rion. So your shield will miss him, but your scimitar will strike him. And he'll remember, take 12 Remember, he has minus two to attack. Or minus two to his AC. Mm -hmm. I wanted more. This is more. We need like one on one. There you go. Um, yeah. So, is that all you want to do? Uh, I'm just gonna keep saying. It's like you're not doing yourself any favors, my friend. You you claim you want her to be by your side, but the more you prolong this, the the more she's not going to accept. This isn't even about Shiraz anymore. This is about honor. Sweet, I shoot him in the head. <laughs> um, I assume the twenty-five hits. I take yes. eight damage. Wait, why are you rolling as Escanor? Yeah, oh, you shit. just rolled Escanor as shit. Wrong button, my bad. <laughs> Some time. I thought I had You're a so weak, I had to injure myself. <laughs> my bad. Does a 17 hit you? Wait, so... No, so... neither of them do. Do I give myself back the 8 then? Yeah, yeah, You didn't take any damage, sorry. Hit the wrong thing. So both his blades miss you. Your turn. Yep. Nice crit. Two nat twenties. Damn. Oh shit. What the fuck? So yeah, you're gonna crit him. And he's looking really injured. Rion Winsu, you're clearly defeated here. You need to stop and just go home. He looks around at all his men watching him. And he continues to fight. He sure does. Yeah, both those hit you take 17 damage. And as his blades strike you, he's just yelling, FOR HONOR! And yeah, your turn. <sighs> I roll my eyes. <laughs> uh, non-lethal to knock his ass out. Oh shit, minus four to hit. Ooh. Yeah, your shield bashes him and knocks him out. He falls unconscious. And the cat folk all like gasp and kind of, they don't like rush to his side though. They Uh, would there be one that looks more like a leader in the group? Um, none of them look like a super leader, but they they kind of just look around them like like they don't really know what to do at this point. But um, eventually two of these cat folk come up and say, uh, maybe, maybe we approach and collect our leader. So Shirazai nods and says, take him. So they pick him up and then they drag him back. Yeah, they drag him back? Jesus well, they're God. carrying him back. Sorry, they don't drag him back. Uh, as, they wake, or as they're taking him away, I tell them, when he wakes up, tell him that his life is mine. <laughs> tell him what his life is yours? My island. 
I own his life. I spared him, so I own him. <laughs> they scowl and they kind of give you like a half nod. And they're going to be walking back towards the tent unless you stop them. Shirazi stops them and says, um... <laughs> <laughs> That was funny. What? He, he moved him away, so... moved him away, and then they all came back home. <laughs> what was that? So Shirazi stops and says, Please uh, convey my regrets to uh, my parents, and please look after Rian. I truly don't wish him any harm. But if we see him again, no promises. They all are like kind of glaring at everyone and just nodding when you're speaking. All right. So yeah, she just really kind of makes a so... glaring. I really wanted to kill one of you. <laughs> Did you want to skin the cat folk and like wear them? Anyway. Uh, um, I think I don't know if you want to do this now, but I think um, Jose wanted to do something with. A side thing, or do you want to do that now, or do you want to do that later? Uh, we can do that as we, I guess, at this point, we're heading back towards my parents. Yeah, and if there's anything else you guys want to do before you leave town, then we'll say the next session starts when you guys are leaving town, I guess. I wanted to murder something. <laughs> I mean, there's you're still a bunny can. over there. Yeah, hey, Rion's unconscious i mean uh, i go stab him all the cat folk i mean i mean i could y'all i mean i'm pretty all, but... sure you could probably win <laughs> you but, guys were just charged with that, protecting the realm and now you want to fucking kill some cat folk Jesus ta Christ. natalia the, the whole point of me challenging to single combat was so that we could avoid bloodshed we still need to talk with the people of Geffen. <laughs> Right, and they're from Geffen because I was about to bring that up. They're not from Geffen. They um. They traveled yeah. from Geffen. They're, oh, wait, from they're, a they're not Geffen from Geffen. Try to get oh fuck her. it, let's no. go kill them. Look, Jesus. Geffen, Geffen was like Hogwarts to me, so I basically grew up there. But they're actually from a different continent. Correct. Yeah, they just went out to of Geffen respect for Shiraze. I did not kill them. Don't See, disrespect your friends. I didn't go kill anyone. I was just saying I wanted to. I haven't attacked anyone. Jesus. <sighs> Natalia, uh, I there, need to speak to you. There are things oh, that I want to do before we leave, uh, but but I can do them uh, in between sessions. I didn't do anything. Why is everyone being a little bee oh, Well, what the fuck, game? Game was like you're being you're you're being over dramatic and <laughs> a chloroformer. <laughs> oh, Calm Jesus. down. Breathe deeply. Does this rag smell like chloroform to you? <laughs> uh so what was what were you wanting to do, Eskinor? Well we gotta wait for her. It, well now we gotta wait for Are you, are you back? Yeah, I said I'm back. Oh, sorry. I didn't hear you. Alright, so as we head back to the house, uh, I uh, tell you guys to go on and ask if I could speak to Natalie. Mm. Do you want to go? Uh, I guess if you're back in the city, we'll just go to this map. Okay, I stop and wait and kind of look at him expectantly. And I just kind of look up at her and say, So, you're not human. I graze an eyebrow at you. What gives you that idea? Well, back in the cave. 
when your eyes shimmered. I pretended to not notice, but you did tear a chunk out of that orc's throat. This music does not fit this um, <laughs> conversation. <laughs> it's like, dun dun and, and please don't misunderstand. I'm not judging. It's more... I'm around the corner. I'm judging. <laughs> it's more curiosity than anything. Ultimately, you don't really have to answer me. I just wanted to ask. As I said before, there's no judgment coming from me, and anything you ask, I'll do. But as I said in the cave, I noticed it once, and then after... Uh, what was her name? Sky? Was that her name, Sky? Skyla. Skyla, yeah. Skyla. And after you you know, pulled her heart out with, I'm assuming, non-human strength. I might be a little more than just human. Okay. Let's just say our vampire hunter friends were a little um, ill-informed about the hybrids that have come along since just pure vampires. Very well. As I said, it was more curiosity. I won't make mention of it. You'll tell us when you're ready. Or you won't. Whatever happens. Eskinor, hasn't anyone ever told you that curiosity kills the cat? And satisfaction brought it back. Oh. <laughs> I mean, I'd assume that she was either going to tell me or not because I had already sworn to help her no matter what so I was more wanting to as verify more, it as, as the, the knowledge of what or who I am is tricky knowledge it can potentially get you killed just by knowing and the more who know <laughs> the more risk to me I've already almost gotten myself killed plenty of times since I've met you I care not There are people out there who live in secrecy, who are not, not fully, um, human, but appear to be human. Um, there are, there are different types of us that live in secrecy, but let's just say I am the combination of vampire and, and human combined. Um, and in particular... I happen to be a potential heir to the kingdom. Ah. Uh, always in the presence of royalty. Yes. My culture is a harsh one, though, and let's just say that nothing's ever set in stone. Mm. Well, I do not take your character as being bad, since you're putting up with us. Also, what kind of piqued me was your questioning towards uh, the prince. Why so? Mm, I mean, not wanting to be subjugated. <laughs> I mean, do most people want to be subjugated? I wouldn't feel like most people would want to feel like they have to obey some. Mm. I don't know about most people, but I do feel that way myself. 
I'm sure you've seen the dialogue between my father and I. I did not wish to follow in what he wanted for me, hence my distance from my family. But some people do like to be subjugated. It gives them a sense of... Huh? <laughs> I said canker. <laughs> canker? Kinky. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> Subjugate me, Dad. Jesus. <laughs> All right, is there anything else you guys want to do? Yeah, that, 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 that was it. Calling. We're good. Cool. Good job, everyone. I guess you want some experience or something, right? Indeed. I'm still sad. I didn't get to kill anything. I mean, you can still go back and fight them if you want. I'm gonna go back and murder them all in their sleep. Jesus. <laughs> she hasn't had her meat today. Nom, 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 nom. Um, does anyone want to write this down, or I will... Yeah, I got it. Okay. Um, so, uh, I'll give you experience for defeating Rion. Uh, take 1,200 for defeating him. Just me, right? <laughs> no, I don't get this. <laughs> Um, for your progression in the story, you can take 2,000 and 200 for RPing for each person, and that will be it, I believe, this session, unless I'm forgetting anything. Yeah, that's 1,000 each. Woohoo! He insists on taking all the couch cushions off. And I mean, let's be realistic here. You're already bonkers. Okay, thanks. Alright, GG, guys. Good session.